Damn, that sun is bright. I'm just now leaving my job. And girl, let me tell you, I'm so happy to get the hell up out of there. Even though it was kind of slow because it was thanks, thanks, today is Thanksgiving. So first, I should be saying happy Thanksgiving to everyone. But yeah, I'm just leaving this place now. Oh my God, these folks is getting on my damn nerves today. Well, not really. Actually, my attitude, I mean, I don't have an attitude, but it was all right today. So don't mind the hair because A, it needs to be cut. And B, I've been patting it down all day because of the wind. But yes, we're leaving the job. And I just want the vlog on the camera to say happy Thanksgiving. And I was also wanted to do it because I just bought one of those look imitation girl, the Walmart brand um, gorilla uh, tripods, mini ones. And to be honest with you, it ain't, it's, I, need some, I need a dash cam or whatever, like a police officer. But anyway, that's really all I want to say. Because I'm doing other things on this channel. Look, there was a cemetery. I gotta be quiet. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I gotta be quiet when I'm passing the cemetery. It, am I the only one that does that? Like, I, when I'm passing the cemetery, I shut up and I turn my music down. Because, you know, they say don't ever point in the cemetery because somebody in your life is gonna die or something like that. But beyond that, something else. else. Anyway, yeah, I'm leaving my, the job. Uh, they just, they're so crazy. I actually had to call out yesterday because, girl, let me tell you, because I, I got to be there from 6 to 2. Oh, I woke up at like 5, of course. I don't really actually move to like 5.18. And I went out to start my car. And the damn car wouldn't start. It wouldn't turn over. I text my boss, I was like, you know what, my car is not trying to turn over, I'm not about to, you know, like, girl, like, you have to, you have to figure something else out, because I, I'm not about to try to, you know, fight this damn car to get to this job, because it's a commute for me to go home from here, like, actually, if I keep this camera rolling, you'll count the minutes, but, um, yeah, I was just like, you know, I'm not going to be able to come in today, and she was like, well, um, I can come over there and come get you. I'm like, no, that's you're the boss, you're the general manager. You have to watch this store. Although she does, she does go and pick up other people and leave me in the store by myself. Like I'm the manager, which is just not the case. But I was like, no, nah, don't worry about it. Then she was like, well, the guy who's getting off now, he can come and pick you up. You know, give you a jump off so you can get to work. Get to work. And I was like, no, that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, you know, what. About 9 o'clock, 9 or 10, I'm just going to call my mother. I'm going to have her send her neighbor over to jumpstart my car. Then I'm going to take my car over to somewhere where I can get a new battery. Because that really was essentially the problem. They needed a new battery. But they were so pressed about getting me in there uh, yesterday that I just I stopped answering her text messages, messages. And I just took my ass to sleep. But I did eventually get a new battery. And it was so funny because I'm... It was like a good thing that I didn't show up there today, yesterday, because apparently the uh, the news, a news crew was outside giving customers free damn gas, and they said it was bananas in there yesterday. So I was like, thank you, Jesus. I didn't have to come up in there, mother, because I show sure as hell did not feel like dealing with no mess like that. Like free gas, y'all clogging up the whole damn, you know, the, the damn store and everything with that foolishness. Thank you, Lord. Look, this lady over here watching me probably vlog from this, this camera. But yeah, I was so glad. But I do got a new battery in this car. And it cost me $108. Like, I had to borrow the money until I get paid for my pay. So I don't know what I'm going to do Thanksgiving. I'm supposed to go to my mother's house. My mom's house. She's supposed to be cooking. Right now, I kind of just want to go home. It's like 2 o'clock. A little bit after 2, I just want to kind of go home and take a nap right now. Everybody's going to Black Friday, and I don't do Black Friday, and I think my mom's going to try to ask me to go, I um, I have to be at work at 6 again tomorrow, too. I'm not really feeling doing no Black Friday. I mean, do y'all do Black Friday? I don't really care for it. It's just too much to me. Too much. When I used to work at Target, where we would do Black Friday, and be in there all damn day, all night, just, it's just foolishness to me. Although, I mean, I, I think you 
know, you getting a deal or whatever, that's straight, but shit, I'd rather just order my stuff online and be done with it. That's how I got my Kindle off sale, it's online. Look, you better s Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, like how in the hell this lady is in the middle lane she slowly merged over to the left, thinking, I'm thinking she about to, you know, uh, Lord have mercy, this girl, she got red hair and earrings. She about to swoop over in front of my ass, but then next thing you know, she's swooping all the way over to the right, because she needs to make a right turn. Girl, and then she ain't got no tag on her car, so I guess she's trying to hurt me with the hell she got to get for somebody to pull her over. And that happened to me one time. I was, I came, it was when I was living in Georgia, I came to, came here to Alabama to pick up a new car that I got for Christmas and before I could even get out of the damn neighborhood a police officer pulled me over and I was with my cousin and he all looked bent down bending down looking in the damn car trying to see what's going on he see my cousin in the passenger seat Hold on. he see my cousin in the passenger seat and he like let me see your ID and who is she and I'm looking like, this is my cousin. Like, you talking about, you talking to us like we some kind of damn, uh, hey, how you doing? Me up here looking at me while I'm vlogging. <laughs> but I'm like, you talking to us like we some kind of damn cops and rob, you know, some robbers. Let me see your ID. Why are you driving without a tag? I'm like, when you see the tag, this ain't a tag applied for. And of course, I had all my paperwork together. But we barely even got out the damn neighborhood and this school was trying to pull us over and then my mom was up the street and you know she came and talked to him about what was going on. And he was like, Well just make sure the next you know that you go straight to Georgia and don't make no stops because the sheriff's out on the road. I'm like, no shit, man. And he kinda he ruined my day too because I was visiting and I wanted to go see all of my friends too, but you know, I couldn't do that because of his ass discouraged the whole trip. Well, anyway, I am finally home. I'm gonna take me a nice shower and maybe do something else. Like, I really don't know what else I need to do. That is it. We're good. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy yourself. Even though, even though the concept of Thanksgiving as of right now is a damn lie, but you know what I'm saying? Like, happy Thanksgiving anyway, girl.